Hello everybody and welcome to a Minecraft command block tutorial. Today we're going to be going over this button combination lock. So uh, this would be good for if you like to make adventure maps or like an escape room map you could put these buttons in your environment and the door and the player would have to type in the correct sequence to open the door. So in this case this, the combination is yellow, green, blue, red and the door opens. So uh, only that combination will will open the door. I can try my best to mash buttons trying to get the correct sequence but uh, the sequence will need to be yellow, green, blue, red and the door will open. So uh, next I will go over uh, the command block setup for this. Okay so here is the command block setup. As you can see, the setup is pretty basic, and uh, what it does is it uses these chain command blocks here and a series of clone and replace commands to move this redstone block down until it hits this block here. And this block is um, will uh, open a door or essentially do whatever we want the buttons to do. So, uh, so now I can uh, uh, show you how this works kind of in real time. So uh, I'll start off with the combination here, which is yellow, green, blue, red. And as you can see, uh, the chain command blocks here cloned this uh, redstone block and moved it all the way down and uh, until it hits this block here. And that's what opens our door. So if I start the sequence and then I hit the incorrect uh, color here, it'll reset. The, um, the setup here. So um, as long as I hit the correct sequence it'll move that block down and open our door. So uh, now I will go over a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to get this all set up. Okay so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you're facing west when you build this setup. Uh, so it, it uses a lot of uh, relative commands. So this uh, will only work if you're facing west. So just uh, something to keep in mind there. Now the next thing you'll need to do is give yourself a command block. So give command block, just like that. Okay, so uh, now what you'll need to do is just set a command block on the ground so that the arrow is uh, facing up. And then uh, in the description I've, I've included uh, three commands so what you'll do is you'll grab that first command I've actually just saved them here in command blocks so that I can access them easier uh, but you take that first command which is a set block to error we're going to copy that and then paste it in our command block here and what that's going to do is if we have a redstone block here, when the redstone block gets placed next to the command block here, it's going to immediately be changed to error. So that is that is what's going to simulate our button being pressed. So, um, so next what I'll do is I'll just copy that block three more times. And uh, uh, basically we're going to have four buttons in our combination lock so we're going to need four command blocks here and all these are the the ones that will set the redstone block to air so next what we're next what you're going to need to do is set a block on top of the first one here your command block and um, change that to always active and chain so then we're going to take our second command, which is a fill, and we're going to paste that in there. Whoops. Okay. And then we can copy that and paste it three more times. So now what the this column here, this is representing four digit presses. So we'll have four uh, of these command blocks in the column here. And um, Next, we'll go to our uh, our next column here. Pa place the same command block. Now you'll notice that uh, we use we have a negative four here, 
So this, this column here is our, we'll call it our negative four column. So this column has to be our negative three column. So we'll need to change each of those negative fours to negative threes. Copy that, paste it. We'll paste another one, change this column to negative twos. Copy that and paste it three more times. Oops. And then same here. And this is going to be our negative one column. Change all those. And paste it three more times. Okay. So uh, that's the basic setup. Now um, we need to determine what our uh, combination sequence is going to be. So uh, what I actually like to do is I'll just take uh, all my different colors of wool here. And I like to I like to place the color on top of the column just so I know uh, which column goes with what color. So I'll do that. Then I'll place my redstone block here. And then I'm going to need to determine what my sequence is going to be. So another thing I like to do is just take a item frame and place the frame on uh, the command block that's going to be uh, the, the sequence I'm going to be um, adding here. So uh, we're just going to keep it simple and it's, it's just make it red, yellow, blue, green. So that's going to be our sequence there. So next I'm going to take my third command here and I'm going to click on my first command block in the sequence which is red here and I'm going to paste that clone command right there. So next I will go to the second in the sequence which is yellow, paste that there and again this I'm in my negative three column so I need to change all these to negative three. And I'll go to my next one here, change all these to negative two. And same here, change all these to negative one. And we should be good. Okay, so now what I can do is simulate the buttons being pressed. So I'll just start right here on red. So see that worked there. The command block or the uh, redstone block has moved down. I'll go to my next one here. Okay, it's moved down again. Next one and next one. Okay, so the setup works. So now what I need to do is just set command block here. And this is again going to be what uh, we want the final result to be. So in this case, we'll just do say you win, something simple like that. So now when I go through the sequence, it'll say we win or our. Um, our sequence is correct. So another thing you can do is uh, we'll need you'll need to set up your buttons. So what I do in that case is just somewhere in in my world I'll put all my buttons so it'll look something like this. I'll take a button, add these all here, and then I'll take a command block and put that behind uh, the, the colored wool there. And then this, uh, this will need to be a, uh, not a relative command, or relative command, but an absolute command. So uh, we're gonna want this command block to change this block here, or set this block into a redstone block. So we'll get the command for that. We'll do set block tab, 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 oops, and then red stone block. Copy that, and we'll paste it here. We'll make sure that works. Okay, good, that worked. 
So I'll copy that, paste it back there. And this will need to change, I think, to negative 13. Yep. So that means this is negative 14, negative 15. Okay. So let's go ahead and try this out with the buttons. So our sequence is red, blue, yellow, green. All right. So uh, that's the setup there. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, and again, you can have uh, this block here is going to be whatever you want the buttons to do. So in this case, we have it just say uh, you win, but it can open a door or play a sound or just do anything you want the buttons to do. Okay, one last thing I wanted to go over is let's say you wanted only three buttons in your combination uh, and you wanted seven digit presses instead of four. So uh, that setup would look something like this. You would have only three columns for each of the buttons, but you would have seven in each column for the seven digit presses. So uh, for this setup here, the combination is red, yellow, red, blue, blue, yellow. Blue. So it functions pretty much the same way. You'll just have uh, the setup will look a little more like this. So. Uh, you may have noticed when I was typing this in that when I got to the second red, you notice this extra block here. Uh, that's basically just the setup thinking we're restarting the sequence because it starts with red, so um, that's why this block is showing up here. Uh, it's perfectly normal and it's, it doesn't affect the sequence at all. It's just uh, something something to keep in mind. And then let's say you wanted more buttons. Let's say you wanted six buttons instead of four. Uh, that would look something like this. Uh, we would still have our four digit presses, but the, um, the setup would expand kind of horizontally this way to, to um, accommodate more buttons. So this would be our negative six column and negative five and, and so on and so forth. So. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, hopefully th this helps um, if you're making any sort of escape room map or an adventure map and you need um, a button combination to secure a door or, or do something cool. Uh, this setup hopefully will help with that. So um, so yeah, be sure to leave um, any comments in, or questions in the comment section. And um, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. I'm not going to be able to do that.